Hey guys, I think Red Dead 2 sucks. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the long-awaited sequel to the first game, which you probably already knew about. Now, as a kid, when Red Dead 1 came out, I wasn't really that interested in the game, purely because I thought the game set in old settings were just plain dumb, and I just wanted to play in the modern setting like a dumbass. But now that I'm not a stupid-ass kid, I love western settings. I love movies like The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, not to mention Django. There's something just so cool about a good western that I can't really explain, so let's just say that when Red Dead 2 was announced, I was incredibly hyped. Now besides being hyped for the setting, Rockstar haven't released a major game since 2013, which you could just say that they've been milking the cow dry that is GTA Online. But I'd also like to argue that that's because they were putting so much polish into Red Dead 2, and considering the final product, I really think that does show. They've kept this game under the wraps for a long ass time, as is normal for Rockstar. We've been promised so many features, so many details, that the expectation for this game was unreal. Usually I'd be worried that the game developer couldn't meet up to this expectation, but come on, it's Rockstar we're talking about. Have they really ever created a bad game before? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think they have. But the underlying question is, could Red Dead 2 be exactly what Rockstar needed to kill GTA 5? It's been a major success for a while now, going as far as to become the most profitable piece of media to ever exist. While I don't think this new western game can beat this record by any means, I do think they've outdone themselves and made a game that outshines its predecessor, which is to be expected as Rockstar always majorly improve with every game. But why is this so good? Well, allow me to explain. An open world. Now, both Red Dead and GTA hail a massive open world free for you to explore. Most Rockstar games are like this, and while Red Dead 1 felt more like a western version of Grand Theft Auto, I feel the Red Dead 2 has strived to differentiate itself from GTA by making itself feel like a completely different game. The world of the Wild West is honest to god beautiful. There's countless areas to explore in this massive world like cold and harsh snowy areas, wide and sprawling stretches of dry land, rich forests full of wildlife. All these areas are different in their own ways, which makes it a joy to actually explore the world. And not only that, but I feel like there's purpose to this huge map. In GTA, if you're following the story, it doesn't really feel like it makes use of this entire map. You'll only use a few small parts of it, but here, it feels like the world is being fully utilized. Every now and then, you'll move camp and essentially change hubs to a different area of the map, giving you time to fully take each area in. Around the map, there'll be various strangers you can help, towns to explore, talk and shop in, even in desolate areas there will always be game for you to hunt, which gives you reason to explore these parts. Towns are something I feel give the impression of a western world. They vary in sizes but they're always alive and full of bustling people, farmers tending to horses, shopkeepers who tell you stories about customers while you're shopping. You could go into a saloon, start a fight and then come back the next day and the owner will ask you not to cause any trouble. It's responsive and all your actions have consequences on the world. People remember this shit, they're not just some brainless ape type NPCs. And the opposite can be said for when it turns to night, the town will quiet down, shopkeepers will shut for the night, you'll see less people or most likely they'll all be at the saloon to get pissed. Your own camp is no different. You'll see all your gang working hard doing their jobs. You can play games with them, talk to them, sit around a campfire and just sing songs with them. And sometimes celebrate in the case of saving and bringing back members to the camp. Just like the towns, even your own camp feels alive. It does help to feel more connected to your gang and helps make your relationship with them feel real, especially when you start talking to them. And just like the world, the game overall is stupidly detailed. GTA does have some nice details here and there, but it is meant to be a much sillier game compared to Red Dead 2. These details of the game are what initially got me excited, which is odd because usually I really dislike when games try to sell you a realistic experience, I just want a fun one. But I do like it when these details don't overwhelm the fun gameplay and make it tedious, which Rockstar have managed to hit the right balance of. 
guns for a start get worn out and as such become less reliable. Luckily, it's not like Breath of the Wild where you'll just have to go and get a new one. You can just buy some oil, clean it up, and bam, good as new. Customization is another thing that just goes above and beyond. You can wear whatever hats, coats, or vests you want. You can choose to tuck your pants into your boots, or to wear spurs or not. You can shave down from a scale of 1 to 10. If you fall over, your hat will fall onto the ground and you can pick it up. Honestly, there's just so much stuff to keep track of, it's crazy. Then there's the little things, like buying from the stores, it lets you look through an actual catalog or picking up the items from a shelf, skinning animations actually show the gruesome method of removing an animal's fur. If you fall into mud or get shot a lot, you'll get covered in mud and blood, requiring you to clean yourself up. And of course, one of the most important features ever added to a video game, you can pet the dogs. 10 out of 10, game of the year, buy it right now. Choice is a big factor within Red Dead 2. It's not like this hasn't been present in Rockstar games before, but I feel like they've gone out of their way to give you the freedom on how to go about most things in the game. They practically define your experience when playing. For a start, on a few select missions, you get to choose how you go about them. For example, you could choose to go up and deal with an enemy yourself, or send someone else to do it. Choose if you want to rob a house at night time, or perhaps distract them in the morning. What do you think? Let's do it now. You have free range on how you go about all of these missions. Not only that, but similar to GTA 4, you can choose the fate of a lot of your victims. You can choose to kill them in cold blood, or let them go to spare their lives. This is where the honor system is brought into play. Honor is something that's always brought into question within a western setting, so it's a welcome addition that works yet again into choosing how you want to play the game. Personally myself, I wanted to be a Clint Eastwood type cowboy, being very honorable but not afraid to retaliate when needed, and the game fully lets you do that. Of course, I still haven't found a poncho like the man with no name, which depresses me greatly, but even though you're meant to be a criminal, it lets you choose how you want to do some stuff. You could start fights with strangers resulting in bloodshed, or you can simply just defuse them and move along, or fuck it, just rob them and take their shit, it's the wild west, who said we have to be nice, <laughs> yeah, you're dumb boy. There are many people who you can help, which in turn boosts your honor. There's even some people who pretend they need your help just so they can rob you. Of course, that doesn't end well for them most of the time. The bottom line is Red Dead 2 allows you to play how you want to play, at least as much as it can. Of course, you're still a scumbag thief who's in a gang, but you can still talk, save, rob, or kill anyone you want. It's all up to you how you want to play, which in a time period where freedom is supposed to be plenty, this makes perfect sense, and the narrative of the story with you being in a gang gives more credibility with why you'd have so much choice in the first place, because you're free! It's the Wild West for crying out loud. One of the things Rockstar constantly nails with every game is making a unique blend of story and gameplay, the two of them flowing together brilliantly. It's due partly to them always using gameplay assets for cinematics, trailers, and basically everything to do with the game. It's great because while a lot of companies will try to sell you lies based on some overly flashy cinematic, Rockstar just show you what's in the box without trying to throw any glitter on it. The story can switch over to cinematics instantly because of this, not having to load any pre-rendered videos helps to quickly go from gameplay to cinematic easily. The story itself is pretty great, at least from what I've played so far, which is around about 8 hours. As this is a prequel to the first game, we get to see a lot more about these characters that we knew little of in the first. We get to see the gang that Dutch and John referenced heavily in the first game. We get to learn more about John himself and even new characters like Arthur Morgan. I'm really interested to see where his story goes and if it will have just as much of a tragic end as John's in Red Dead 1. Of course, I can't go on without talking a bit about the music, because once again they have nailed the soundtrack of all these beautiful acoustic renditions that fit the tone and theme of the game brilliantly. All the songs only used instruments that actually existed back then, like guitars and harmonicas, which suits the time period amazingly. The voice acting is great, making each character fit the setting and all have unique voices. Other than that, there's not too much else I can say so far, besides the fact that this game is funny as shit. Hey! Need a hand with your horse? Sounds good. <laughs> Shit. 
The gameplay as expected is great as well. I've seen one or two people complain about it feeling heavy and slow, but personally, I don't mind that. It fits the tone of the game. You won't just rush in guns blazing like in GTA. The gunplay is great for this. They aren't the most reliable or easy fins to use. You have to wait until the circle goes down for the perfect shot, which gives some credibility to them being unreliable hunks of metal that they actually were back in those times. And because of this, actually landing a shot feels way more satisfying as a result. It's way more challenging than any gunplay GTA or the first Red Dead had to offer, which I adore. But it's not like there aren't easier ways to deal with enemies as well. You have the Dead Eye system that makes its return from the first game, allowing you to slow time, mark your enemies, and take them all out. Nothing is more badass than starting a fight with a group before quickly taking them out with a successful Dead Eye. It really helps just make you feel like an awesome gunslinger. Fist fighting feels very detailed and pretty realistic. I think this is due to these incredibly detailed animations fitted with enemies that don't just get punched once and die like in GTA. You're not just restricted to guns and fists though, you can use lassos to tie and drag enemies around which is just hilarious to watch, knives to stealthily take out opponents, and bows for a silenced range option or simply just to hunt game. Overall, Rockstar have done an incredible job with this game, and I'd go out on a limb saying this is by far Rockstar's best project yet, to no one's surprise really. The only bad thing I can say is the opening mission is a little underwhelming. Compared to GTA V's opening, it's nowhere near as exciting. Perhaps they could have made it the getaway chase from Blackwater, which the characters seem to heavily reference throughout the game. But besides that one small gripe, I find very little faults here. So now that I've discussed what Red Dead 2 does right, let's talk about its inevitable battle with GTA 5. Now, Red Dead doesn't exactly have it easy, it has to live up to GTA 5. I don't know if you understand how big this game is, it's been constantly kicking for about 5 years now, and it is the most profitable piece of media to ever exist. Think about that for a second, that's counting movies, TV shows, other games, it's made more money than Fortnite and League of Legends, two of the biggest games to exist. It has made more money than Avatar, the most profitable movie to ever exist. The success of GTA 5 is unparalleled. But Red Dead 2 does have one big advantage, that being simply it's a better game. While GTA 5 is amazing in its own right, being incredibly fun to play with friends to this day, it just can't compare to the effort Rockstar have put into Red Dead 2. With so much detail, care and effort put into this game, I just don't see how anyone can disagree that they've outdone themselves once again. But however, I don't really think that matters as much because what will inevitably come down to it is the online mode. GTA Online is what's made this such a big success, and this is probably the first time Rockstar have somewhat nailed an online game, even with a few flaws here and there. Now Red Dead Online won't be releasing for a while yet, so to truly judge this battle between the games, I really think we'll have to see how Red Dead Online fares. They have had plenty of experience with GTA Online, and hey, if Red Dead Online's launch isn't as fucked as GTA's, then they're already doing a way better job. There's a lot of potential for Rockstar to make an amazing online experience out of this. I'm looking forward to making a gang with a few mates and robbing some trains together. Of course, a big problem facing Red Dead is that kids love GTA because it's a modern setting, but they may not like Red Dead because it's an older one. I was the same as a kid, and I think we'd all be lying if we didn't agree that the younger audience are Rockstar's main audience. Anyways, I'll leave it at that, maybe I'll make a video seeing how Red Dead Online holds up if the interest is there, but for now, I'm gonna say single player wise it trumps GTA, but can it destroy it with its multiplayer too? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Overall, none of that is too important. All I'm concerned about is how much of a fun and rich experience Red Dead 2 has managed to be. With so much hype, with so many delays and the big gap in Rockstar's early releases, there was so much expectation and thankfully it has paid off, making this one of the greatest games of the year and quite possibly even the decade. All I wanted from this game was the ability to choose how I could play, an interesting world to explore as well as satisfying gunplay. And well, Rockstar has delivered on all all of these, I'm happy to say the Red Dead Redemption 2 is indeed amazing, and as IGN said, it really makes you feel like a cowboy.
Hey, thanks for watching! If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. Feel free to comment your thoughts and perhaps check out some of my other videos. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or join my Discord. The links are below, and with that, I'll see you later, boys!